Sometimes the most original art is to be found in those overlooked places that are closest to the wild. Just north of Berkeley, beside San Francisco Bay, a former landfill filled with construction debris has been left undeveloped for more than 30 years. The 60-acre artificial archipelago has been nicknamed the Albany Bulb for the bulging hill at its outer extremity. The bulb projects a mile into the bay, just west of Interstate 80, and north of a racetrack called Golden Gate Fields. In a way, it's miraculous that in a region afflicted by the highest home prices in the nation, developers didn't swoop in here and build high-end housing towers for the overprivileged. The views from the bulb's ragged, untamed shores extend from the Bay Bridge through San Francisco, across the Golden Gate, and into the Marin Headlands. When the construction dump closed in 1983, homeless people from the neighborhood began gravitating to this no man's land. They built a community from wood scraps, rebar, concrete, sheet metal, and other discarded construction materials. Free-spirited local artists were attracted to the wildness of nature reclaiming its rightful place among the ruins. They painted slabs of broken sidewalks in brilliantly colored graffiti and wrote streetwise aphorisms reflecting the hard-earned lessons of lives lived close to the bone. Over time, the bulb has also become a haven for dog walkers, strollers, and lovers of unself-conscious art. Hikers come from near and far to this still largely undiscovered gem, tickled to be among the few who found its secret delights. At the same time, though, others complained that the homeless population of the bulb made them feel uncomfortable walking there. Feeling pressure to respond, the city of Albany gradually uprooted residents from their patchwork shanties, but few of the Bulb's homeless residents elected to live there. Now many live under nearby freeway overpasses. It's a heartbreaking sight and an awkward encounter for shoppers on their way to the increasingly trendy Gilman Street neighborhood.
In addition to the graffiti that adorn almost every available concrete surface, local artists have assembled larger-than-life sculptures of astonishing originality and eloquence. They're set against stunning views of the San Francisco skyline and Marin headlands, and they evoke powerful sensations of exhilaration, triumph, and resilience. They're all the more potent for being made from the discarded refuse of a civilization sinking under the weight of its own waste. Local residents who've long treasured the bulb's antic art have formed an informal group to carry on its traditions. On a sunny autumn afternoon, Susan Moffat, project manager of the UC Berkeley Global Urban Humanities Initiative, an organizer of a Facebook group calling itself Love the Bulb, leads a group of locals on a group artistic improvisation in a sheltered area called the Amphitheater. The workshop is co-led by musician Laura and Sarah, and nature sculptor Zach Pine from the Bay Area Art and Nature Organization, Samavisha. Um, there is a lot of what most of us would call garbage. But, you know, everything in the bulb, is it trash or is it art material itself? So that's what's amazing about this park. It's been created by the people who use it, and we're constantly changing it. And so that's what we invited you to do here today, is to play with this space. I'll limit myself to a, a square yard here and I'll see right away what I see. And I see green and I see clear and I see some stones. All of a sudden I'm thinking of the eye actually. <laughs> I don't know why. I've got an eye theme going. So um, if you only could spend 45 minutes in this square yard, at least if I could, um, I think I would be happy. There's my eye. You're done. So almost as a ritual, and I invite you as well to consider this momentum as a ritual, I will just put my attention in the instrument and see what they want to say. Thank <laughs> you. 
the City of Albany is gradually turning over management of the site to the East Bay Regional Park, and the Park Authority is returning the bulb to what it calls its natural state. In truth, though, it's an altogether unnatural creation, a flowering of artistic genius rising phoenix-like out of a graveyard of pavement and rebar that nature has gradually been reclaiming. Many of the glorious graffiti whose eye-popping colors made a walk at the bulb such a dazzling experience are now gone, and the homeless encampments have been scrubbed from the underbrush. A broad walkway now skirts the bay on the south side, and dogs frolic and bark at the blustery wind while kiteboarders catch the curling surf. There's a more tranquil feel to the place now. The ghosts of former residents no longer haul jugs of water and supplies in shopping carts and on overladen bicycles to and fro from their campsites. Something's been lost and something gained in the transition. A walk on the wild side, an undiscovered treasure, has been replaced by a well-groomed public park that nonetheless holds traces of its once renegade spirit. What makes the bulb unique is this fortuitous if unplanned partnership between wild nature and unconventional humans to create beauty from the detritus of our collective waste stream. The Albany bulb demonstrates the spontaneous genius of unsponsored art made by unfettered hearts.